The FAA projects that the number of drones flying in our system, our nation's airspace, will increase steadily in the coming years. This is the fifth stop on a series of tests that we've been working on. And in each, at each airport, at each stop, uh, we've been looking at different technology. For what we're evaluating is the capability to detect, I'll call it control signals, interaction between the control devices and the UAS. You got the runway flush here, so whenever you're ready, you are ready. Okay, we're clear to cross the line. Uh, we've designed a test that uh, incorporates the evaluation of drones of all different sizes. It's how many sensors would it take to properly protect an airport the size of, of DFW. It's critical that we test ones that are in different operating on different frequencies, ones that are different colors for day and night. We also want to check the size of it to make sure uh, different UAs have different type of what we call cross-section, the ability of the radar to return an echo back a, a target. So uh, all of these have been carefully uh, selected to challenge these sensors just for those types of activities. Part of our goal was to make sure that the operators of these devices learn how to operate them safely. So we have airspace in, in our area here, we have airspace that's, that goes out dozens of miles from the airport where we wouldn't want to see any U.S. activity without coordination with our air traffic control, just given the complexity of the Dallas-Fort Worth International Airspace. It's among the most complex in the world, to be honest, and among the most busiest in the world.